the alcohol carburetor is back on the motor. Sorry I missed that. Could you say it again please? My phone just talked to me. I'm not sure I understand. Hey guys, guess what? Part two. Uh, it's all installed. Yep, it's all installed. We are getting pump gas. It's actually 93 octane into the tank. I actually drained the tank, so there's no more alcohol in it. Uh, there might be a little bit of alcohol in the lines, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. I already changed all the uh, spark plugs out, so those already go. Running some auto lights in there. 103s, I think, is what the number's on it. So, but the carburetor is all set up. Fuel pressure gauge is up here. So, it's all set up where to go. Throttle linkage, everything. So, as soon as we get some fuel in this sucker, I'm going to primer it up. Check for leaks. Check the floats real quick. Check the fuel pressure. Make sure it's okay. And go from there. So, uh, should fire right on up. So, anyway. So, you'll be with me. When we fire the sucker up, so hope it goes good. <laughs> I'm going to do first is just go ahead and turn the pump on, check for leaks real quick. I'll just turn it on a little bit until it builds a little bit of pressure here. I'm going to shut it off. So let's try that and see what happens. I might have something. Yeah, we're going to tighten a few things up here just to make sure it's all good and go, but. Uh, Get the float level lower down too so it's got a lot of fuel in the bowls there so anyway best time best time really to adjust that or the the, the bowls here it's when the car's running but uh anyway we're gonna get the float let, let low a little bit lower then we're gonna fire it up and adjust it from there so okay we're gonna go ahead and fire it up and see what happens started um it's got one little leak here in the back i need to take care of but uh just adjusting the float so and basically how to adjust that float i get it started kick off the fuel pump and let the draw, fuel draw down on it then i can adjust it a little bit flip the pump back on and go from there so anyway uh it's a good sound up to date um got it running it's running really good it uh throttle response is really good um i did do one squirter change on it i really went up in the size on squirters i put a 45 in it um well that's cool um it's carbon monoxide detector in the trailer had the car running in the garage just for a little bit anyway just ignore it uh doors open as you can tell but anyway um so I did a uh, cam change on the squirter, the squirter size. Uh, I was trying to get it on the hit, get it leaned out or richened up a little bit. Well, I'm going to run it like that, see what it, how it reacts and stuff. I don't know. I might put the other squirter on and see what it does, but I think I'm going to probably run that and see see what happens with that. So, Well, guess what? It's our carbon monoxide detector in our trailer. I had the car running here in the garage for a little bit. I was checking some things on the laptop and stuff. And it detected it. At least we know it still works. So, hey guys. Uh, get you up to date um, with the uh, gas car. Um, you probably already know this, but I'm going to say it all right off now. Gas is slower. <laughs> uh, it's uh, quite a bit slower. So, um... Uh, 
I threw a lot of, at this is my best guess on the uh, timing with it and best guess on the uh, jets and all that stuff. I think the best at, uh, for the jets, I think they were at, at uh, 72, 82. And um, so that's the best time it ran with those jets. If I went higher or lower than that, either uh, uh, it, it slowed down either way. So timing, we had it from 30 to 34 degrees with it. That's about all the time I had. I only had four passes to try to get this. But I don't think even changing timing or the jets on this thing too much more is going to make it that much quicker. Uh, so anyway, uh, with that, definitely uh, methanol is the way to go. So this carburetor, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. Probably can put it out there in a marketplace, just go ahead and sell it and get some money back out of it and put it some, to something else. So anyway, uh, but it's an experiment in case anybody wanted to know. Definitely, if you want to go quicker, in my opinion, go with methanol. Uh, yes, it's a little bit more expensive. Expensive to run, uh, gas is a little bit more expensive, carburetor is a little bit more expensive, a little different setups for that. It's just not the, it's just more expensive. Gas, if you want a cheap way to run the car and stuff, it runs pretty good. Uh, really good gas mileage with it and stuff on the streets, especially. Get a gas car by all means, but methanol, not as much. The only good thing I can say about the gas is I don't use that much gas. Four passes, and I didn't have to. Uh, touch the front tank at all. The tank's about four, four and a half gallons in the front. Methanol, every two passes I have to put gas in that sucker. So uh, definitely, uh, methanol's not for everybody. Uh, there's a lot more maintenance with methanol, uh, oil changes, uh, and all that good stuff. Um, uh, it's very corrosive. So we have to, you know, disassemble the carburetor quite often to make sure it uh, doesn't sit too long with the methanol in it. Uh, definitely, methanol's not for everybody, but for gas, easy maintenance, run that's the way to go so anyway with that uh like i said i'm gonna pull that off we're gonna go uh, get it uh up on the marketplace get it sold and we're gonna try something else i might get a different cam for this different heads i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do right now but anyway uh, i do know that carburetor won't be on the car i'm gonna go back to methanol so uh anyway hope these videos were really good and tell you uh, or show you what it what it takes to convert one of these over and best of all is to show that uh, which one's quicker, methanol or gas. So anyway, uh, go from there. Slow, 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 slow. It's slower. Just, just say it. It's slower. I don't have to say it anymore. It's slower. Gas is slower than methanol. Just leave it at that. It's slow. Hey, if you like what you see, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it.